if we are going to save ourselves, we're not going to have a, a lily white God and a Jim Crow Jesus save us. We've got to do the job ourselves. And this idea of uh, being submissive and meek and all like that is not going to get us anywhere. We can defend ourselves if we do it intelligently. You don't go out and attack a Sherman tank if all you had was a BB gun or a slingshot. There's another way you have to do it. When I was at Grand Central Station at the Red Cap, I met a young man there who uh, had been working on the job a number of years, and he had a special problem. He was sent down to the lower level of Grand Central Station, which is on 42nd Street in New York, and the vice president came in from the suburbs, and this red cap was detailed to carry his bags out to the street. And every time he went down there, the man insulted him. You know, stuff like, boy, pick up my bag. Nigga, get, get a, uh, a move on or something like that. And the young man knew if he gave him an argument, being the vice president of the railroad, he'd lose his job. He couldn't afford to lose his job. But he was determined that he was going to punish this man. So one day he went down to get the suitcase of the vice president, and he was the only person on the train. There was the entire lower level of Grand Central Station, and the vice president, and the red cap, and nobody else in the vicinity. So this young man hauled off and hit this man in the jaw and broke his jaw. <laughs> Knocked him completely unconscious and laying on the platform bleeding. Somebody later on come and found him, called an ambulance, they put him on a stretcher and carried him, uh, I've got, I have water here. <laughs> and, 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 and they put him on the stretcher, took him to the hospital. Then when he got his jaw back together, he came back and swore out a warrant to, uh, that this red cap committed assault and battery on him, broke his jaw, nearly killed him, and all the rest of it. So the red cap was hailed up before a judge. The vice president told him how they, this man beat hell out of him. And then the judge said to the red cap, did you commit assault and battery on this man? He said, no, I didn't. It must be a case of mistaken identity. I wasn't there. And then he said to the vice president, do you have any witnesses that saw this man beat you? He said, no. He says, case dismissed. <laughs> this red cap broke his jaw, beat him nearly to death. And the judge threw out the case because there were no witnesses. So you, you don't have to be meek and submissive. You can get your point if you go about it in the intelligent way. 